Plebes, bienvenidos a un nuevo video. Hoy vamos a reaccionar, tal vez no algo directamente de la NBA, pero sí relacionado. Vamos a hablar de los hijos de jugadores de la NBA. Ojo, que no estén en college ni, ni superior. Que estén en high school, que estén niños. Y pues, ¿qué tal juegan? Ya sabemos, conocemos a varios, conocemos... Los hijos de Lebron, probablemente todos conozcan los hijos de Lebron, Abrón y Ebrais. Tal vez el de Carmelo Anthony, lo ubiquen. A los de Carlos Busser, que ahorita vienen de, de, de ser campeones mundiales. Pero pues van a haber más. Tal vez hay alguno que otro. Háganme en los comentarios. ¿Quién no sabías que, que su hijo jugaba o que habías visto algún video de él? Háganme en los comentarios. We are going to rank. The current NBA players' kids who haven't yet played in college. Putting this video together was tough because many factors, but mostly it's hard because their ages vary so much. I am open for debate, and I want to see what y'all think in the comments. Without further ado, yo ser honesto de cuáles hijos no había visto videos jugando. He is a 2020. Claro que sí, cómo no va a ser el hijo de mi ídolo. I first saw him six years ago. This was the summer of oh, 2016. Oh, oh, oh. Where are you going? And he played 1v1 versus his pops. The following year, in that same gym, oh. he played Trey Young one on one. Now with the guy playing for team, why not? And all of the NBA kids have tons of potential, but I had to put someone. Is it clear that you're at At the 27th spot, we have PJ Rose, son of NBA MVP Derrick Rose. PJ is a fourth grader who we have only seen once. He is a prime example of how young oh, you going, are really tough to rank. Top 25 scouts has him ranked number 16 in the country. And PJ really impressed us at Ball. <laughs> <Ball laughs> <Ball laughs> <Ball laughs> hey, no, mira, le está, le está mira, a mí nunca me ha gustado tapar el. Ay. No vamos a tapar el. De creador, pero ahorita lo voy a tapar nomás porque acá. Para que vean en la esquina, güey, de quién es el hijo. Pues si no escuchan bien, güey. Ese sí no lo sabía, güey. O sea, no lo había visto. Ese sí no lo sabía, güey. Jackson Richardson is the son of two-time NBA dunk contest winner Jason Richardson. Tampoco. He comes in at 25 honesto, soy honesto. At 6'5", he's a high-level wing prospect who has a frame and a game that reminds me of his dad. He just finished his freshman year in high school, and I could see him shooting up the rankings in his upperclassman years. J.J. Crawford comes in at 24. He's the son of three-time Six Man of the Year award winner Jamal Crawford. JJ can shoot the leather. Sigo sin entender la cubrebocas en la barbilla. I don't know, man. ¿Por qué? Solo quítatelo, güey, si no quieres. No entiendo por qué la gente hace eso. Azela Arenas is the daughter of Gilbert Agent Zero Arenas. Lo siento. Azela has continued to get so much better. No. Azela. Honestly. She could be ranked Zella based Arenas. off of her. Oh! I think ESPN is yeah, in the As they have her unranked. Be on the lookout for her in the 2024 class. I kind of cheat here and put two people in the same spot. However, they are twins. NBA champion uh, Matt Barnes has twins that just finished the 8th grade. Isaiah and Carter Barnes have a ton of potential. And their games complement each other well. I'm looking forward to watching their games develop. Now y'all might be too young to remember Rafer skipped to my loot all. Oh wait, me man, mataste con Ah, por cierto, el de Matt Barnes sí lo sabía visto. So I've seen his and one tape. Rafer Alston no sé, güey. And his son Reese Alston has some of that same swag to his game. No ni idea, güey. No sé ni quién es su papá, güey, o sea. <laughs> Pierre Rondo just finished the claro game. He pitch. may look the most like his dad out of everyone on this list. Pierre is the son of two-time NBA champion Rajan Rondo 
future Hall of Famer in my book, but Pierre has been going on at various events. His game resembles Rondo's. He's got long arms and plays great defense. What's most impressive is how good he is at finishing with both hands at such a young age. This is the same little boy no. who created the chip with Rondo in the bubble. Eso sí, no, no me imaginé, güey, que era él, güey. O sea, se ve que tenía un hijo, güey, pero no, o sea, no había visto videos de él, güey. Jermaine O'Neal Jr. is the son of six times... O sea, el niño es... Oh, güey, qué loco, güey. Qué loco, güey, pensé que es ese, güey. Oye, güey, pero creció, güey. This is the same little boy who celebrated the chip with Rondo in the bubble. Jermaine O'Neal Jr. is the son of six-time NBA All-Star Jermaine O'Neal. Jermaine is currently ranked hasta la fecha con todo el lente, güey, con playera de polo. Da miedo, güey, Jermaine O'Neal, güey. Jermaine Jr. does most of the damage on the perimeter. His dad runs Drive Nation EYBL, and that's who Jr. is suited up with. He already holds offers from Missouri, Tennessee, Vanderbilt, and SMU. Jace Richardson is the oldest son of Jason Richardson. He's a 6'3 point guard out of Las Vegas. Oh, he si la pica bien ese. Him ranked 36 in the 2024 class. Ooh. And he holds offers like Arizona State, Washington, and Ooh. We seen him last month at the no, no. All-American camp and he put on a show. Bryce Maximus James comes No, güey, este nunca lo había visto, güey. ¿Y quién es? ¿Quién es? ¿Quién es LeBron James? Viewers, but Bryce has some serious competition. El hijo TikToker. He's the son of LeBron James. Bryce is going into his junior year at Campbell Hall. And he's shown some serious shades of a high major prospect. His potential sí, bueno. is through the roof. Se le mucho nivel, güey. Se le ve mucho potencial, güey. If he can do what Bronny did, get exponentially better every year, I'm going to wish I had him high. Eso es lo que yo creo que, por ejemplo, ya lo demostró Bronny hasta ahorita. Lo ha demostrado. Que cada vez, año con año, Bryce desarrolla una habilidad nueva. Primero decían de que no, no era tan atlético. Se hizo atlético. No, que no drible mucho. Se mucho. No, que no tira de tres. Se hizo chap shooter, güey. Super tirador, güey. Y, o sea, cada vez se está haciendo más completo y más completo, güey. Y yo creo que Bryce va a hacer lo mismo, güey. Lebron los, los, o sea, los ha guiado bien. Pero, pues, a ellos también tiene importa que sí tomen las opiniones de su papá. Que como en su desarrollo. ¿Quién mejor que Lebron James? Y yo creo que ellos pueden llegar muy lejos por eso, güey. Porque siento que tienen una... De estar creciendo, creciendo, creciendo. Pero es, güey, no jugaba así, güey. Cameron Carr is an o sea... Pues a mí yo le tengo mucha fe a los NBA dos. Que pueden llegar muy lejos Cameron por eso. El potencial es inmenso el que tiene. Chris Carr. No, no, güey. No conozco al señor. No tengo el gusto. No he tenido el gusto de conocer a Chris Carr. Pero juega bien, ¿eh? <risa> Cameron Carr juega bien. Miera O'Neal es la segunda girl en esta lista. Ella es la hija del jugador más dominante NBA de todo el tiempo, Shaquille O'Neal. Y si no te crees, argue con tu padre. Miera es ranked 35th by ESPN in the 2024 class. I will have some new footage on her after this weekend. But earlier in the circuit, she was trying to throw down. Uy! Is slotted in at the 14th spot. He's the son Kim. of future Hall of Famer oh, say, Carmelo man. Anthony. Cayenne is a 6'4 guard who can get a bucket anywhere on the court. He averages almost 16 points per game in EYBL. And he just finished his sophomore year of high school. He could have probably been ranked higher. But like I've said, so it's some tough competition up there. We have more twins. But I have given them each their own slot. Kalik and Kaden are the son of NBA champion Eddie, Eddie House. Oh, what? Their rankings are interchangeable because they both bring so much to their team. 
For numbers purposes, I'll start with Kalik House. Kalik is a 6'3 shooting guard who can score at all three levels. His brother, Caden House, averaged 26 points per game wey, que his fe freshman year in high school. Feo está, hey, no me gusta decir eso, güey, pero... No mames, güey. Güey, y luego la cara que pone, güey. His brother, Caden House... No puede respirar, o qué, güey? Oh my god, man. So ugly, man. Está impresionado, güey. Nah, man. Pero del pelo. Reed Shepard is the son of Jeff Shepard, who was a two-time national championship winner at Kentucky. Me suena, güey. Briefly for the Pero... Atlanta Hawks. Reed is committed to his dad's alma mater. No, no, no. He is one of the highest IQ players. Me quiere sonar el nombre, no, güey. A lo mejor no fue casi. Has him ranked 23. In his senior year, he averaged 5.5 points, 7.6 assists, 6.8 rebounds. A ver. And four point four Ooh, wey, qué bonito jumper, wey. And that got him selected as a McDonald's All-American. Oh, mira, Andrej part. Andrej is the son of one of the greatest shooters in oh, NBA Oh, pues, sí, ya lo había visto. Stoyakovic. He's a 6'6 shooter. Compita, te equivocaste aquí. Son of Peja. Out of California. Lo que has de decir, cabrón. I think he will surprise a lot of people at Stanford this year. He may be the best shooter to come out of the 2023 class. Ooh, yeah, yeah. And ESPN has him ranked 22 in their final rankings. And like Reed, he was a McDonald's All-American as well. Next, we have Caden Boozer. Boozer's dad is Caden Son of Boozer, who had a solid Caden Boozer. Boozer's dad is Cameron Boozer. Te equivocaste? Who had a We have Caden <laughs> Boozer. Boozer's dad Boozer's dad is Cameron Boozer. Is Cameron Boozer. Carlos Boozer, man. What the heck? You crazy? What the hell is it called? Cameron, in verdad? Maybe? Confirm in the comments. Confirm in the comments, bro. Gracias. And he definitely has that it factor. He holds offers from everywhere. Es más bueno el otro, güey. Se me olvida cómo es el nombre del otro. El otro es Cameron, pues. Es another one of Gilbert Arenas' children. He's a 6'4 guard who just finished his freshman year in high school. ESPN freshman year? 6'4? Oh my god. And as a freshman, he averaged 30 points and 9 rebounds at Chatsworth in California. Unos numbers. In these clips, he was playing up two age groups with Compton Magic. Bronny James comes in at the seventh spot. Oh, ¿quién me vas a poner arriba? James. Bronny has been under the spotlight since he was born. I wanted to rank him higher because he had all of the pressure of holding the name LeBron Tiene James todo, Jr. Wey. and has really stepped veo up éxito, veo éxito en the opportunity. His game has developed so quickly and I truly believe he is going to be a great NBA player. McKinley Randolph is the daughter of NBA enforcer a ver, ¿qué, ¿qué me tienes que decir al respecto a ella? Porque que si lo pongas arriba, Bronny. Zebo. Es que she was one of the leaders of the 2022 U17 World Cup gold medalist team. As okay. One, she moved really well, and she uses her physicality to impose her will on opponents. At number five, I have Elijah Williams. His dad had a nine-year NBA career, and he is the new coach for the Detroit Pistons. At six foot six, Elijah possesses all the skills to be great at the next level. ESPN has him ranked number four in the 2026 class. 26. He averaged 19.8 points and 9.1 rebounds his freshman year in Scottsdale, Arizona. With the coaching switch, Elijah will be attending Brother Rice in Michigan next year. Eric Dampier Jr. is the son of A ver. NBA veteran Eric Dampier. Almost every scouting service has him ranked Está muy alto, number one in the country. It is a pretty sure bet because he's already six foot eight and he just finished seventh grade. Oh my God. 
Seven Grey estamos hablando, güey, de que cum... acaba de cumplir 13 años, güey. 6, 8, güey. Oh, my God. Likely, he continues to grow. His dad was 6 foot 11. And if he gets that kind of height, he is sure to keep that ranking up high. At number 3, I had to go with DJ Wagner. He is the son of New Jersey legend Dejan Wagner. DJ was ranked number 1 for most of his high school career before falling to number 4 in the ESPN's final ranking. And he could have easily okay. finished number 1 in the country. Probably and DJ Wagner. Debate because Isaiah Collier is super tough. DJ is committed to Kentucky and I know the McDonald's game MVP is going to play with a chip on his shoulder after people started doubting him. Now these last two are interchangeable. Both of these guys are ranked number one in their respective... Hijo de Ron Harper. Si lo había visto, pero no recuerdo highlights, güey. Pero si había visto de que... Dylan Harper. Dylan is the son of Ron Harper, 15-year NBA veteran, and his pops won five championships, three with Michael Jordan and two with the late, great Kobe Bean Bryant. That greatness is in Dylan's DNA. He's a 6'5 point guard who said he models his game after SGA and Cade Cunningham. You can tell he's the son of an NBA player. He has all the intangibles. Last but not least, Cameron Boozer has been labeled as a generational talent. And he gets that praise for a reason. I a Cameron Boozer. A former NBA player, Cameron Boozer. is just 15 years old and he already has no porque cree que se ha equivocado dos veces of an NBA player. Es más, he's 69 and he can do lo va a hacer ya a lo mejor se llama en verdad Cameron Boozer güey yo no sabía wey. no Carlos Austin Bo Boozer digo hasta canal Corsay Cor Films is Carlos Boozer ok I love your videos. Thank you. Do everything on the court. He won the National Boys Basketball Player of the Year as a sophomore. We just saw him at the Top 100 camp just two days after seeing him at Section 7 in Arizona. This kid is going to be special. Tiene mucho leal, that concludes the rankings video. But I have to mention, there are some guys I left out due to not having any footage. Taja Riza is the son of okay. Trevor Ariza, and ESPN has him ranked number 12 in the 2026 class. Ray Allen III is the son of 10-time NBA All-Star Ray Allen. Christian Ori, son of 7-time NBA champion Robert Ori. Oh, mira, el que chico lo mencioné. Layman McGrady, Layman. Hall of Famer T-Mac. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Claro que like and subscribe. Tú sabes, güey. A ti no te fallo, carnal. Pero bueno. Are you a course creator, coach eh, consultant? what the heck, what the heck, I'm talking, I'm talking about my man. Bueno. Pues ahí lo tienen. Ya saben. Nos vemos en un siguiente video. La neta, güey. Eh, videos de ese güey de high school a mí me encantan ver. ¿Sabes de quién necesitamos ver? De Cooper Flag. Eso se viene, güey. Se viene. Aparte de la Summer League, que haya un partido chido ahí. Vamos a seleccionar Cooper Flag, güey. Y saben, para los que no sepan, viene torneo 3x3. Viene torneo 3x3. Vamos a grabar un video. No sé con quién lo voy a grabar. Pero vamos a explicar todas las reglas del formato que voy a usar para ese torneo. Las, las reglas que usen en ese, en ese video son las que voy a tomar en cuenta. Yo la voy a tomar la FIBA si hay alguna que, que quiera cambiar yo porque pues es mi torneo y yo hago lo que yo quiera. Wey. Así que voy a ver eh, las reglas, voy a subir el video y cualquier pregunta pues en ese video me lo van a hacer saber más los participantes. Y pues nos vemos en un siguiente video. Adiós.